what's going on guys the more locations you have the more money you make co-working spaces may be the right answer for you watch this this one goes out to darren marion love you i want you to know that i appreciate every single person that watches this video and comments even if they disagree with me that's okay right um I have an issue when somebody says, don't take this guy's advice, and they didn't read the Google Terms of Service, right? Because I prepare before I make these videos. Can I make a mistake? Of course, right? The mistakes can happen, and, and they do happen. Uh, but before I make this video, I do make sure that I read the Google Terms of Service, or I chat GPT them, so they could uh, sum them up in, on a sixth grade level in under 200 words. You know, I make it easy, right? So um, the, the information I'm giving you, I believe is true, but you need to go and do your own research. I do want you to uh, be on the same page with me about one thing. The more locations that you have, the more space you'll get on Google Maps. Now, in your opinion, if that's devaluing your business or you don't feel ethical about, you know, taking up, you know, Tampa Bay or Brooklyn or San Diego because it's not ethical for you. I respect that. that that's that's great. But but there are other people that want to go the opposite way, right? They want to try to take up as much space as possible because this is 2025 and competition is fierce. If you're the only person feeding your family, you're the only person working, you, you may need to two, three, even 10 times the amount of leads you get to sustain your lifestyle, right? Nobody's watching these videos for beer money. The, these videos are made so you could uh, uh, create more income and send your kids to better schools. I say it on every video, right, and treat your family well. So if, if you're the type of person that, that's okay with having one location, that's great. But, but don't say that it's, it's uh, against the terms of service because it's not. It's not against the terms of service. And we'll go through that in a couple of seconds. All right, I just want to make that disclaimer. Thanks. So all GMBs are not created equal. I'm going to go over four categories from simplest to hardest to get approved. These are the simplest categories to get approved. A marketing agency, car mechanic, dental, personal trainer, spa, dog care, pet groomer. For the most part, you could get these approved fairly easy. Uh, buy some citations, create a website, put your address on the website, um, write a press release, and you'll get this, uh, uh, these locations uh, approved, right? Now, if you're a marketing agency, there's no reason for anybody to come to your office. So if you have five locations in, in Chicago, nobody's coming to your office anyway so they'll call and you'll answer the phone you just need to make sure that you have a phone number for every location so for every location that you every gmb that you open up you need a separate phone number for that location they're very easy to get there are plenty of apps out there there's call rail there's a whole bunch of places where you get low low cost phone numbers as you could see, none of these services require the client to come to your office. Just make sure you have a separate phone number for each office. Hey guys, if you're like a lot of people that I speak with, you either had a person or an agency who used to do your, your Google business profile, now they either fell off the map or don't want to do it anymore, now you got somebody else or you hired somebody from Fiverr, well, you hired a friend of a friend who said that they could do this for you and uh, your rankings are getting actually getting worse. Why don't you reach out to me? Come to my website called MindSaw.com. Just click the Talk to Me button. Fill out the quick form. Let's schedule a quick one-on-one. -on -one. Let me see if I could help you. If I can't help you, at least I'll direct you to somebody who can. 
I'll, I'll, I'll put you in the direction uh, uh, so you don't waste any time, right? So hit that talk, talk to us, talk to me button, and, uh, and let's talk. Let's hang out. Thanks, guys. Now, these categories are hard to verify, but not impossible. So we have uh, like the porta potties, right? Portable toilets that they bring for construction sites, appliance repair, uh, tree cleaning service, lawn care service, gutter, pressure cleaning, right? Pressure washing. Um, all those are going to require like signage. You have to make sure you have signage. You, sh you need to show a truck in most cases. In, well, in all these cases, you're going to need to show a picture of your truck and tools and stuff like that. Um, that may require vid video verification. It may not. Uh, but they're harder to verify. They're not like a marketing agency or, you know, anything that we showed in the first category. A little harder. I have two more categories and they get harder. So these are examples of different types of categories that are very, very hard to verify. You're probably going to have to video verify. You're going to have to show uh, signage, you have to show tools, you have to show um, uh, business cards, right? You, you may have to send in some type of uh, uh, bills that you received, like electric bills and rent or something like that. This, these are hard. So you, you see them in front of you, like insurance. House cleaning has become a very tough category. Any type of contract category, like roofing, garage doors, gutter cleaning, very, very tough. Believe it or not, attorneys are tough. Tough to verify, right? Uh, well, Google, I don't want to say tough to verify because in, in order to have a, a, a law practice, uh, for every office you have, the office has to be manned by some by somebody, right? So if you're going to have a working space, that's fine. You can rent an office in a working space, but somebody has, must be there. You could risk your license. I believe you could risk your license for that, right? So if you're a lawyer, be very careful with the location. It's okay to have one in a co-working space, but somebody has to be there. And if you're a lawyer, you already know that. And financial advisors, that used to be an easy category but it's become quite hard over the last year or so. So the last c category is almost impossible to verify. So you really want to make sure that you create your website. If your website's already created and you have a second location or a third location, you create the location page on your website. You go get yourself 300 citations. You get a press release right? You get 300 citations, then you get a press release. Uh, you you, you want to sign up with Bing and their places, right? Um, you want to do all your social media and upload, upload all pictures to your social media regarding that address. So create a page for that new location, that 1010 Main Street location you just created and make sure that you upload pictures from that location outside in the street, your office, right? As soon as you put in for uh, verification for these categories, you're going to get suspended. The moment that you put in for it, it's going to get suspended. The good thing is that you would have done so much of the work, it's going to be verified. It'll be easier to get verified. Well, you know, once you put in for the paperwork for, for Google, for reinstatement right? But the reason why these are so difficult is because people were using them for a long time. They still are using them for lead gens. They're selling the leads. So Google knows that and want to make sure that, you know, you're not using these sites for lead, lead gen websites. So uh, be very careful on these four, cat, these four categories. All right, guys. So let's wrap this all up. As you see, there are four different Google business uh, profile categories, right? If you're in some of the easier ones, it's going to be a lot easier. A co-working space should not be an issue. However, when you start to get to the harder ones like roof repair, garage door, locksmith, uh, it probably won't work for those, right? It probably won't work for those. I do have some ideas as to how to get around that, but 
you know, we're going to stay legal here, right? So I went over to DeepSeek and I said, uh, please show me the terms of service where you can use co-working space as, as office space for a Google business profile. And at, what DeepSeek says is that they don't explicitly prohibit using co-working space as your business, but there are guidelines, right? So you have to have this location. Somebody must be staffed at that location. Um, per, I, I, Google's not going to know that somebody's sitting at the desk or you're answering your phone at a uh, on a job site, right? It's going to be very tough to to uh, to follow up on, right? So the co-working space is that you actually work from those lo from that location. Now look, there's a lot of really nice co-working space where you could rent an office for about a thousand eight hundred to a thousand dollars, and you have like your, not a cubicle, you actually have a glass door office, right? You could meet customers there. It's a dedicated workspace for you, meaning that your your desk doesn't change every day, so you could you know so many ways to get around that you know uh you you want to make sure that you're using the uh, co-working space that's not just for mail only right and then here's the link to uh support.google slash business and we'll go over to that for a moment and businesses can't use an office at co-working space unless Right. Another way is say business can use a co-working space. Right. So can't use unless that office maintains clear signage. Right. Very easy to do. Receives customers at that location. OK. During business hours and is staffed during business hours by your staff. This is Google's guidelines. So somebody said. I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't take this guy's advice. You know what? That guy was right. Don't take my advice. <laughs> I wouldn't take my advice, right? I, I should make a uh, I should make a uh, a point in the beginning to say this is for entertainment purposes only, right? I'm just trying to help, guys. I'm just trying to help, and I appreciate everybody that watches the videos. We see we're almost at ten thousand uh, subscribers. So if you could please. Hit like and subscribe. That that's incredible. Ten thousand subscribers. That's like a, that's like a a, a a quarter of Yankee Stadium, quarter of Yankee Stadium, for this guy, right? All right, guys. Everybody have a great day. Be good to your wife. Be good to your kids, please. I beg you. Be good to your wife and your kids and your dog. Clean up around the house, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.